and gentlemen, we've had this young man on our show before, and he's come back here to introduce his very good friend, Super Dave Osborne. So, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Dar Robinson. I can't wait. What is Super Dave going to do for us this week? Well, he's... I'll tell you what. He's going to do the most unbelievable thing with a car that has ever been done. In fact, to tell you the truth, I don't think it can be done. Uh Uh-oh. But... That's our Super Dave, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's Super Dave. (laughs) So, all right, let's get right to Super Dave Osborne, and thank you very much for coming by. You're very welcome. Okay. Nice to be here. Here he comes now, Super Dave Osborne. Just a moment, if you will, please. Uh, This wild jump of yours or this amazing ride, frankly, what does it entail? Well, Tom, uh, it's the ultimate test of the human body, I believe. Uh, I'll be traveling up and down a track, especially designed in a smallish metal car or container, at approximately 150 miles an hour. Halfway through the ride, I will attempt to go through a complete 360-degree turn at 5 G's force. Now, this may sound like kind of a silly question, but uh, what are your chances? Well, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think my chances were very good, Tom. Uh, uh, they've told me uh, if everything goes as well as it should go, it'll be fine. Dave, how would you compare this with Evil Knievel's jump over the Snake River Canyon? Well, Tom, I'm, I'm not going to stand here and put down Evil Knievel. Uh, uh, what Evil Knievel did uh, enabled me to have CTV cover this and for me to get the money I'm getting. Uh, but uh, the last jump Evil made, uh, he said it was a life-or-death jump. Uh, he had a parachute, he was jumping over water, and uh, his capsule failed, and uh, he lived. Uh, I've been told that if my capsule fails, uh, I may not be quite as lucky. Dave, we're ready, okay. uh, Dave right. one thing before you go. Um, really, you are risking your life. Why are you doing it? Well, Tom, uh, people say that uh, uh, anybody will do anything for money. Well, uh, $300,000 is a lot of money to me. I couldn't have made it any other way in my life. And uh, I feel that by... Uh, doing this Uh, if i make it i'll make a lot more than three hundred thousand dollars if something happens uh my family will be taken care of and i'll have lived the way life the way i want to live it they're waiting for you thank you for the few moments super dave and good luck to you i hope it's a great ride thank you super dave osborne (laughs) fine round of applause for super dave osborne as he's getting ready to get into his car as you can see two inch steel enforced leather strapping is being used to secure dave in the car if the car should leave the track i'm afraid super dave osborne will leave with it He has special magnetic shoes that'll cling to the bottom of the car for extra protection. Other bits of his protective gear, why the gloves he's wearing are burn-proof aluminum covered in wind-resistant asbestos. His helmet is made out of galvanized iron with a shock-resistant plastic alloy. Final preparations. Make sure it's high. One final pull on those straps, keeping Super Dave in. All right, I think they're about ready right right now. (laughs) There's a camera placed directly on the car so that we can follow this ride. Ticket, please. (laughs) We're going to follow Dave with picture and sound as he's able to communicate with us. How does it feel up there so far, Dave? Everything seems A-OK. I'll know more when I get to the top. (laughs) We're making our ascent now. Uh, The car feels a little shaky. Uh, The track goes up a little higher than I thought it did. Yeah, I'm a little... I'm getting a little sick to my stomach. (laughs) Now we're going down. Oh, this is horrible. This is terrible. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Can we stop this? Can we stop this? Can we stop this? Oh, it's horrible. I see the camera's moving, too. If the camera comes loose, what's going to happen? Can we stop it before we go into the 360? We're going into the 360. I can't take it. I can't do it. Oh, God. He came out of the 360s 
60s still in the car. Dave, can you hear us? Dave, signal if you can hear us. We seem to have lost communication with Super Dave. Gentlemen, make sure we've got the doctor ready when he gets back down. We're almost through. And remember, you're watching this live, ladies and gentlemen, we hope. He should be coming in in the next 15 seconds. And here he comes. Super Dave. Super Dave. I need a doctor. I am your doctor, Super Dave. <laughs> doctor, how is he? I think he's going to be all right, but we won't know for about 24 hours. Can I talk to him for a little bit, Doctor? Not for very long. Super Dave, how do you feel? I need a doctor. You've got a doctor with you, Super Dave. Tell me about the ride. How was it? It was awful. I, I wouldn't do it again uh, for 10 times the money. I, I shouldn't have done it. Uh, I, I just, it was a big mistake. Uh, it's done. It's over with. I'd never do it again. I, I just can't wait to get out of here and be with my family and... Uh, <laughs> That's about all I can say about it. I just would like to get out of here now and... Uh... All right, Super Dave, hang in there. There you have it, the near successful ride of Super Dave Osborne, an event he'll certainly remember for a hey. long time to come. Hey. Live from Magic Mountain, hey. this is Tom Kelly returning you hey. to our studio. Hey, jerk! Sure. <laughs>